How's it going there, everybody? Uh, Austin here. I also go by Sazzle. Welcome to Sweeney TV. Today's video is going to be about ENFPs and how we communicate over text. Um, this video was requested. I can't remember where the comment was. I would like to pull it up, but I can't. So credit to that person who asked for it. Uh, second of all, I would like to say that like, although my channel is no longer talking about ENFPs as much as I used to, um, I think it's still important. Those videos I've made, they have uh, impacted a lot of people. I've gotten a lot of positive reviews, but just so everyone's aware, I'm not really making them anymore. And uh, that also being said, you know, I am an ENFP. I've tested as one. I've said this multiple times, but again, like, um, you know, I'm no expert. The things I say are just, you know, what I do and from my perspective. And uh, in the past, it has resonated with other ENFPs. So it's it's true in that sense. Uh, but don't take it as, you know, my word is law or, you know, what I do accounts for all ENFPs. It's not true. I am different than other people. And again, as always, you know, people are more than their personality types. But again, people watch these videos because it's like they want to get inside the mind of an ENFP. They want to understand. So that's the perspective I'm coming uh, for making it. Now that that's out of the way. So the first thing with ENFPs and texting and online messaging is... Our emotions are always attached to everything we do. Even if we're joking, we always have emotions emotions attached to things. And we always read things in terms of emotions. So it's like, if I'm having a conversation with someone, everything they say to me and everything I say to them, I pause and I think about it. And I think about the meaning of it. And I think about what they what they're feeling at the time. That's literally, it's for every message. There's no message I get and I go, Oh, okay, you know, that's just a message. No, I have to pause. I have to think. I have to process the feelings of this person and what they said. And then I can, and then I move on. Now, this may be, this, this may be interesting for some people because when an ENFP is texting, uh, you know, we, we work fast. We just, we just say things. We just spit things out. Uh, and sometimes it's to get a reaction. Other times it's just because we think fast. Um, if I could really split it into two different scenarios. So the best case conversation is one where it's just like, it's a good back and forth. Things are happening. Things are happening very fast. Things are happening consistently. Um, and you know, that's like the, the best case scenario is it's like, we're, we're both sitting down wherever we are. And it's like, we're just, we're having a text conversation and it could go from an hour. It could go for 30 minutes. It could be 15 minutes. But it's like, as long as there's a good back and forth and there's joking and there's understanding, it's basically trading jokes. Like my best case scenario is we're just joking the entire time, right? Um, you know, I don't like to get into deep topics for, for too long. You know, I can, but it is rather draining because again, since I'm an ENFP, you know, I have to think things through. I have to think through the feelings of things. So um, that's the best case scenario. Now, uh a little bit lo lower than that, but that still counts. And that's, that's actually an okay way to talk to us is, you know, as long as there's consistency. So as long as like I text someone something or I, I send a reply and then it's like, I know in maybe five hours, I'm going to get a reply back. Um, that's, that works too. And it's like, if we're both just sending each other kind of long texts and there's like a, an equal exchange, there's an equal trading and, you know, all the points in the text are being addressed. You know, I've definitely had conversations with someone where it's like nothing's missed everything's accounted for um it's 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 really nice it's really nice to just have you know you could literally yeah i could carry three conversations at one time in a text conversation and that's totally fine with me and i like that and, and i enjoy those conversations um the worst case scenario for an enfp in texting is if there's constant pauses or if there's constant um questioning about like what you're trying to say. So it's like, let's say I say a joke or it's like, let's just say I say something and it just keeps happening where the person I'm texting is like, well, what do you mean by that? Well, what do you mean by this? It's like, well, I don't understand what you're saying. It's like, there's just, there's a massive disconnect. That's very draining to me. And it's, it's very damaging to me as well, because that's, you know, I'm obviously I'm trying to communicate in the best way I can, whether it's being silly or whether I'm trying to analyze something. And so if I'm consistently running into this problem with the person over text where it's like they don't get it or it's like they're misinterpreting my joke or it's like they're, they're taking things in ways that I just really don't expect it, um, which is which is which is interesting because I kind of like 
when people don't reply with what I expect. I kind of like that. I, I like that, but I like it where it's it's leading to somewhere. It's not a it's not a stop sign question where it's like, okay, we're having a conversation and then it goes, it keeps going and going. And then finally the person's like, hard stop, wait, no, 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 I don't understand. What do you mean? Or it's like, oh no, I'm super confused. It's like, I don't get this. And it, it's like, if that happens every now and then, it's fine. But if it's consistently where there's just a massive disconnect, where it's like, whether I'm joking and they're taking me seriously, or whether I'm being serious and they think I'm joking, um, you know, it's not fun. And I don't think that's fun for anyone. You know, no one likes miscommunication. But since again, since I'm reading into the emotions, of people and the way they text, um, I'm going to, you know, cause I always, I always put a voice to people when they text me. I always try to read the texts. If I've talked to this person, I read it in their voice and I think about them as a person and like how they feel and how they think about things. And then I read their text and I like, okay, so this is what they were probably feeling when they sent this. This is what, you know, there's a little bit of background information and this is happening like that. Like it just, it just happens. I make all these assumptions based off feelings very fast because again, we do talk fast, but everything is addressed. Everything is felt by an ENFP. So again, if, if there's just a massive disconnect and there's a repetition of questioning, that's just the worst case scenario for an ENFP for texting. I'm, I'm not going to enjoy texting you. And if, if, if you've noticed if there's an ENFP in your life and they're not really texting you as much or they're not really talking as much, maybe if it's even like in a group chat, it just means that there's been too many, there's been too many um, tripping hazards. There's been too many times where that ENFP has maybe said something and it wasn't accounted for and everyone just kind of disregarded it or it was like they said a joke and everyone took it the wrong way and everyone hopped on them. That's, you know, I mean... It's, it's a not supportive environment and it's not a very chill environment. Um, you have to be willing to just kind of allow the free flow, like process of thought for an ENFP, which is why texting is also kind of shitty because, you know, you, you can't, like as much as I say, I read into people's feelings, you don't pick up tone of voice. You don't, you don't pick that up. And that's so important. That's so important, especially with texting. And that's why I would almost prefer calls or I almost prefer talking to people because then you have a little more control of the, over the pace of the conversation. And, you know, then you know also where people are coming from and if they're trying to be mean or if they're just, they genuinely don't understand. Um, but yeah, those are just some points for how an ENFP texts. Again, feelings are so important to an ENFP and, and I can't, I can't ever look at someone's text and not go, oh, I wonder what they're feeling when they've sent this. Like that happens every time. I can't, I can't ever remove the feeling aspect from texting. That being said, um, that is how long distance relationships can work for ENFPs because we're really good at just like sh put it, wearing our emotions on our sleeve and we really do open ourselves up to other people, even over messaging. And so it's like, it's actually not that hard to get feelings for someone else, even if it's just over text. Because again, you know, texting, that's that's where your personality is, right? That's that's like where you can kind of share a bit of your mind. And again, you know, that's not 100% of who you are, right? Like everyone's always going to be a slightly different when they text versus when they talk. I try to be the same person I am. I'm definitely more silly. I feel like most people are a little more silly over text than they are in person. Um, I feel like if people met me in real life, they'd realize like, I'm actually pretty chill. I mean, I'm still very strange, like as a, a person, but like, um, you know, it's not, it's never going to be as bad as when I'm texting. Uh, yeah, I think I touched on most of the points I wanted to. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, if you're texting an ENFP and you want to know maybe if they like you or if, you want, if you're confused or if maybe you've had too many disconnects, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know that I'd, I'm totally fine making another video about this. Uh, I definitely, I don't really have much more things to say about ENFPs. I feel like I addressed the, I addressed the big things, uh, but there's any, if there's any questions you guys have, please ask me down in the comments and I'll try to get it addressed. Thank you all for watching this video. This is trying to explain the mindset of ENFPs and how we communicate over text. Thank you and goodbye.